All right, Shalom Akim. First and foremost, I want to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakak Wadash. Double honor to the apostles of Great Millstone who rule and teach well. And Shalom to the elect out there pushing out this word in truth and in sincerity. All right, um, in this lesson, I got a quick lesson and I want to go into uh, titled uh, The Motive is Salvation. Man. All right. And pretty much uh, that's what I want to go into, man, because, you know, right now, you know, the whole reason why, you know, um, we should be pushing out this word, you know, is is uh, um, is so that we can get saved from the coming destruction that's that's about to come, man. All right. Hey, all right. Because um, I always remember, you know, give a quick testimony. When I was first coming into the, this truth, um, there was a man that used to live with us, you know, since we're, you know, it was an older, old man who used to live with us um, in, our, in our home, man. And we, he saw, you know, the difference, you know, how it was in the world. And when I came into the truth and he asked me, he asked me, he said, why, why are you, are you doing this? Why are you doing all this, man? You know, and, and I, and I told him, I said, shit, cause I want to be saved, man. You know, I want to get delivered from this coming destruction. All right. And, and, and he, he just smiled at me and, you know, gave me a, like a, that's right. You know, fist, you know, like, that's right. You know, that's the, that's the reason, you know, he's not in the truth, but that always stuck to me. All right. You know, and now he knows he's an Israelite, you know, but nevertheless, you know, this, this, it should be the reason why, you know, the, the, uh, the main reason, man, why we're doing this work, man, is, is to be saved, man. We know the great destruction that's going to come, the great calamities that are about to befall upon the earth, man, and only few shall be saved, man. All right. So I'm going to start off here in Zephaniah chapter two, verse one, it says, gather yourselves together. Yeah. Uh, gather together. O nation not desired. All right. And it's talking about the Israelites. All right, because we fell away, you know, we went after uh, these false gods, these other different doctrines, all right, and we fell under the curses from Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, man, the Heavenly Father and His Son, all right. It says, before the uh, before the decree bring it forth, before the day pass as the chaff, before the fierce anger of Yahweh come upon you, before the day of Yahweh's anger come upon you. All right, so gather yourself, man. All right, before that great day, it says, Seek ye Yahweh, all ye meek of the earth, which have wrought his judgment. Seek righteousness, seek meekness. It may be ye shall be hid in the day of Yahweh's anger. Okay, and that's the point, man. You know, we should be seeking his judgment, we should be seeking his, uh, 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 what, what what's uh righteous man all right now that i said that let me let, let me get this real quick this is deuteronomy chapter 4 verse 6 it says i'm gonna read 5 it says behold uh it says behold i have taught you statutes and judgments even as the lord my power commanded me that ye shall do so in the land whither ye go to possess it keep therefore and do them for this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations, which shall hear all these statutes and say, Surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people, man. Okay? So going back to Zephaniah, that's the judgment. That's seeking uh, uh, his judgment, his righteousness, man. All right? Seeking uh, uh, to please him, man. So it may be that we be hid in that day, man. Because a great destruction is coming upon America, man. All right. As is written in Jude, uh, the destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah was left to be an example, man, of what's to uh, befall upon uh, these kingdoms. They live, uh, they live under the same way, man. These these homosexuals, man. And you, you see it running rampant here, man. Not only homosexuality, but uh, uh, lesbianism, transgenderism. All right. Uh, uh, pedophilia runs rapid uh, 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 throughout the rulers of this place. All right, uh, uh, injustice runs uh, every day through here, man. 
the this whole society is built upon the, the blood uh, 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 and the murdering, the rape, and the robbing of the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. All right? So this place is going to be destroyed, man. All right? Every other kingdom fell, you know, and this one isn't gonna isn't anything special, okay? I'm going to keep going. It says, Isaiah 33 and 6, it says, And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time and strength of salvation. The fear of Yahweh is his treasure, man. And that fear is a treasure, man. Because, it, it, you know, the flesh and, and the spirit war every day, man. And the fear keeps keeps your flesh humbled, man. Alright? The fear of the Lord keeps you humble to do what is right, man. Alright? Let me actually get that. <clears throat> this is Sirach 1 and 22. The fear of the Lord driveth away sins. And when it is present... It turneth away wrath, man. All right? So it keeps you fearful from offending against the Heavenly Father. And and according to John, 1 John 3 and 4, sin is transgression of the law, man. Which the law were, was the judgments and the statutes for, so that we can know judge, uh, judgment and righteousness, man. All right? So that we can have wisdom. All right? So if we transgress against that, man, you know, you, you, you bring in more wrath upon yourself. Okay, but but when fear is present, you know it driveth away sins, man. All right, and and, and, and uh, that having but having that and, and having that knowledge, all right, and that wisdom that comes from obeying, you know, is it, going to be your strength of salvation, man. Okay, and again, that's the whole point. That's the whole point. The whole reason we should be doing this is try try to obtain mercy from the heavenly Father. We don't get destroyed, man. All right, and 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 that's and, and the reason I bring it out, man, is because that keeps you in that right spirit, man. You know, just trying to do right by the heavenly Father, man. All right. Uh, uh, what you don't want to do is be doing this thing for vain glory or filthy lucre, man. All right. Some people vain glory. They just want to be that guy who's out in the streets, you know, cutting everybody, you know. Um, you know, being the main speaker, all right, just just so so be seen of men, so you can get glory from men. Oh yeah, man, that guy's deep. That guy's deep, all right. That's not that's not what this is for, man. This isn't all right. That man, you know, you you're missing the whole point if you're coming in that spirit. Okay. Then the next thing is filthy lucre, man, because. You know, you got a lot of people that, that come up and, and that want to listen to to the word of the Heavenly Father, man. All right. You know, and, and, and the elect is going to come together and they're going to hear the word, man. And, and, and there's people that seek out to exploit that, man. You know, for the for the money, man, for for substance, man. Oh, they see a congregation. Oh, they see somebody, people that could be manipulated into giving them money, man. That's not what it is for, man. None of that is going to profit. In the, when, when the when the Lord comes back, man, none of that, man. You can have all the money. Hey, all that money is gonna get destroyed, man. It's gonna be burnt up, man. You can have all all, all the fame, and guess what? The uh, all that fame is gonna be burnt up, man. Only the elect, you know, who 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 actually fears the heavenly Father is gonna be left in that day. All right. I'm going to keep going. This is James chapter 5, verse verse 19. It says, Brethren, if any of you do err from the truth and one convert him, let him know that he which converted the sinner from the error of his way, uh, uh, from his way, it's so like it. I'm going to read again. Let him know that he which converted the sinner from the error of his way shall save a soul from death. And shall hide a multitude of sins, man. And that's how we're we're we're, we're gonna get back to the heavenly Father, man. How to how to gain that deliverance, man. First and foremost, we gotta get that uh, wisdom and knowledge, you know, for ourselves, so we can learn it, and then teach those, uh, 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 um, you know, teach your brethren who are mean for repentance. Likewise, man, so that he, he may get uh, gain wisdom, man. 
Hey, part of uh, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding is to teach your brother, man. All right? Like, as it is written, you, you study not only for yourselves, but for them to hear thee, man. Okay, so that's, that, that all comes in that same package, man. You learn for yourself, and not only for yourself, but also for your brethren, man. Okay, because that's wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. That's how you're going to get salvation in that day, man. All right? And, and, and you telling other other people, your brother, and, 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 and showing him there of his ways, you're going to hide a multitude of sin, man, by converting him, man. It's the same thing is written here in Ezekiel chapter 33, verse 7. It says, so, uh, so thou, O son of man, I have set thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore thou shalt hear the word at my mouth and warn them for me, man. Warn them, man. Why? Because a great destruction is coming. It says, when I say unto the wicked, O wicked man, and this place is filled with wickedness. Even our people are given unto wickedness, man. All right? That's why it's important to do these videos, man. And one thing that cuts me every day, man, is is that that uh, 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 idolatrous show, uh, 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 Virgen de Guadalupe, uh, Rosa de Guadalupe, Rosa Guadalupe, comes out every fucking day, man. And our people eat that shit up every fucking day, man. So how much more should we not be going hard on the right hand side, man? Because Satan's going hard on the left hand side. Keeping our people, uh, our people, uh, you know, uh, 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 um, in the dark, man. Spiritually dead, man. Asleep. Okay? We got to warn these people, man. You know? And, and that's that's why we go out on the highways and the byways. That's why we do these videos, man. You know? Little things like that should, should you know, should be used to motivate you to continue to do the, the videos, man. All right? It says, it, it, you know, which is not little because our people are going the fuck off, man. Because they're going to get fucking destroyed. All right? And nevertheless, I'm going to keep reading. It says, if thou, if thou does not speak to warn the wicked from his ways, the wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood would I require at thine hand, man. So that's part of the salvation, man. We got to let these people know <clears throat> whether they hear or forbear, man. It says, nevertheless, if thou warn the wicked of his way and tur to turn from it, from it, if he do not turn from his way, he shall die in his iniquity. But thou has delivered thy soul, man. Thou has delivered thy soul. Okay? And that's how you do it. That should, that, that, that's the motive. The motive is salvation. And the way that you save your soul is by letting, you know, first and foremost, learning the understanding uh, and the, uh, 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 the the knowledge and and the wisdom which which is written in the in the in the whole book of the Lord, which is a a a, a, a book of law, statutes, and commandments. All right, accounts. All right, and, and examples of righteousness, man. You gotta take it in, man. So they what? So you can warm the wicked from his, their evil ways of not following the Lord. And telling them the right way, whether they hear or whether forbear, man. You know, if they die, they die. But yet you have delivered your soul, all right? And that's the motive, man. If that's the motive, everybody should be proclaiming the righteousness of the Heavenly Father, man. And shunning this, the wickedness that America, a.k.a. Babylon, is, is promoting, man. All right? Instead of being unequally yoked, man, with these unbelievers, man. I'm going to keep going. This is 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 10. It says, But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. All right? That's talking about them IC, uh, ICBM nuclear missiles, man. All right, because this is talking about elements melting, melting down, man. So there you go. Even in the Bible, it talks about that those uh, nuclear missiles are going to hit, man. All right. It says the earth also and the works that are therein shall be burnt up, man. All that vain glory, all that filthy lucre is going to be burnt up, man. It says, seeing then 
that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness, man? And that's putting on that wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, man. All right? The law, statutes, and commandments. All right? The, uh, uh, you know, to the best of your ability, man. Because, you know, because um, that's the true example when you say the Lord knows your heart. Because according to Proverbs, it says a just man falleth seven times, but getteth back up again, man. Which means that you strive to do what's right in, in the spirit of the law, man. But even though we know that since the the flesh wars against the spirit, you know, you're going to fall at times. You're going to mess up. But the thing is, you got to get back up and continue to try to do right in the sight of the Heavenly Father. Because we know and we have faith that He is seen and He's accounting every action, man. Okay? It says, looking for... And hastening unto the coming of the day of Yahweh, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved, and all the elements shall melt with fervent heat, man. There you go, man. That that destruction coming, we should be looking for salvation, man. That's the motive. Verse 13, it says, Nevertheless, we according to his promise, look for new heavens and new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness, man. Why? Because we've instilled, uh, 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 we've been fighting to instill the righteousness in us. We see the benefit of the Heavenly Father. All right? We, we're trying to spread it. And everybody who's not down with it, they can take that fire, man. But but we'll keep going, man. Because nevertheless, although that's going to uh, all go to pass, hey, we according to the promise, according to the words of the Heavenly Father, you know, According to that, you know, we, 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 uh, according to Hebrews, it says by faith, uh, uh, it is, uh, without faith, it is impossible to please him. All right. And, uh, um, and that, um, you know, and that, <laughs> Salakia, and, and that they, that, that he, that comes to him must believe that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him, man. They must believe that, man. The the most high rewards. Okay? So that's the way out, man. Alright? I'm gonna I'm gonna go over here to the book of the wisdom of Solomon, chapter seven, verse twenty-five. Says for he uh Salaki. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter seven, verse twenty-four. It says, for wisdom is more moving than any motion. She passes and goeth through all things by the reason of her pureness. Verse 28, it says, for God loveth none but him that dwelleth with wisdom, man. The motive is salvation, man. If he don't love you when he comes back, well, then your ass is grass, man. <laughs> all right? We should, we should be trying to heap up that wisdom to, to, to appease his wrath, man. Because we messed up. Alright. This is how you get saved. Wisdom of Solomon 6 and 20. Therefore the desire of wisdom. Bringeth to a kingdom man. If, you're de if your delight be then in thrones and scepters. O ye kings of the people. Honor wisdom. That ye may, may reign forevermore. Alright. And that's you know. That's what's going to bring you to the kingdom man. Having that wisdom. That knowledge. That understanding. And as we read it, that's his law, statutes, and commandments. And part of that knowledge, all right, and understanding is knowing that we got to tell our brethren the, the, the right way as well. All right. And this this uh, is also proved, proven here in Romans 10 and 10. I'm going to read uh, from 8. It says, But what saith? The word is nigh thee, even in thy mouth and in thy heart. That is the word of faith which we preach. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Yahweh Shai, all right, and, and the word was made flesh, all right, according to John 1 and 18. All right. So us confessing Yahweh Shai is com confessing the whole book. All right. It says, And shall believe in thine heart that Yahweh hath risen him from the dead, which he did. It says, Thou shalt be saved, man. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made 
unto salvation, man. So we have to speak this word, man. We have to make these videos. We have to go out in the highways and the byways. That's how confession is made. That's how confession is, yeah, confession is made unto salvation. All right. So I'm going to finish it off with this last scripture. This is the book of Mark, chapter 13, verse 13. It says, and he shall be hated of all men, and ye, Salakia, and ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved, man. So, you know, hey, as, lo uh, as far as the, uh, as long as the, the, uh, the famine of the word is, is still not here, we got to preach that word, man. All right, and, he, and even after the famine, man, it might be, you know, that we have to witness to the a, a last few, but it's not going to be mainstream no more, man. Soon enough, we're not going to be able to do these videos like this, man. All right, they're going to shut down the internet. They're going to block our videos. They're going to take us out the, the corners. You know, martial law is going to hit. All right, and, and, and that famine of the word is coming, but we got to stay true and, and, and live in, in that righteous uh, a way as the Lord has taught us in, 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 in his commandments. All right. Until the end, man, holding our integrity, man, knowing that those things please the heavenly father, man. All right. So keep in mind, brothers, the, the motivation is salvation. All right. And, um, you know, the motive is salvation. That's why we do this. You know, that's why we keep pushing forward that we can save ourselves and them that hear us, man. Okay? So with that, you know, I hope the elect out there was edified. I want to end by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakak, Wadash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone who rule and teach well. And Shalom to the elect, also too, man, pushing out this word in truth and in sincerity. So y'all brothers, I say Shalom. And Abad Babal.